Hey guys, yeah, it's me, Wanderer of the Wind. I had a new intro. It's nothing wrong with it. I made it blurry on purpose, you know, because you've seen it in the wind, so you can't you can't see it clear. It's not crisp. It, I did that on purpose. That that's what I got. Anyway, let me get to the, the point of video, the battle. It's against the Sharpedo. Oh, uh, sorry. It's against Sharpedo file. This is pretty old, actually. This is I looked at the date on this, and this was back in April, and somehow I just skipped skipped over this and. Um, he's got a crazy team, and you've probably seen it before at least once. And I don't know if he, I don't know what made him make this. Uh, I made this team for him, but I don't want, I don't know what made him want to have this team. But uh, it's pretty much, it's four, it's all four weather inducers. And yes, <laughs> so he started off with Bombstone, got the, got the hill up. I got my stealth rocks up with Steelix. Um, I saw the Lee C. I don't want, I, I hate Cedars. I hate, I hate Cedars with a passion. So I got it out of there. Went to Galilee. He went to Nine Tails. I got a close combat on it. Pretty sure I took it out. He's gonna go to his Galilee. Galilee and Galilee action is so illegal that we can't have it on Wi-Fi. Oh, I mean not Wi-Fi because it happened because this battle was being posted. Can't have it on YouTube. I think it's actually uh, a clause against that or something. So I'll go into Steelix. And we're caught up. So he's gonna go back in the bomb of snow. I'm predicting. Um, I don't know what, because uh, I use rock slot, and I don't even know why I use rock slot. Maybe I was predicting the switch, but if he had stayed in with Galilee, that would did absolutely nothing. That would did less than nothing. That would like me blowing hot air at Galilee with my mouth would what would have done more that's weird i don't know so he hits me with a blizzard my special evs uh no actually i don't have any special evs in this so never mind that's my other stilix i got too many stilixes so uh, i wore them out for some reason goes in polytoad don't really have anything that wants to take a hydro pump boosted by the ring so i'm just gonna leave stilix in here he's gonna die stilix no why why so polytoad make it rain make a shower he's in um, I'm gonna go to Gravantula because I know I can now speed it and hit it with a super effective move. But I'm gonna go with um, he was expecting the thunder, so that's why he went into his grass poke, a aka this. But I actually did the energy ball, which I should have done the thunder because that would have taken it out. Now I gotta take two turns of life orb and hail damage instead of just one. Actually, I should just went with bug buzz because that would have been. Uh, yeah, no, no. And I don't think that would have taken Politoed out. He's got good special defense. I am, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's what happens when you wake up and do a narration. So he's going to go into Tyranitar. I'm like, okay, I got Bud Buzz. I'm not scared of you. But he conscious me and kills me. I'm like, oh, you're Scarf. That's not cool. So I got the multi scale action going on right here until the first move of Sandstorm. But, you know, I could take a move. I was going to hit it with a super effective earthquake and um, hopefully take it out with that, but he decides to switch into his cast form. Doesn't get to do much. I don't know why I didn't extreme speed and I'll uh, just finish this thing off. Maybe I just didn't want to rack up too much life orb and um, sandstorm damage just because of the whole um, Tyranitar action thing going. So once again, Galilee on Galilee action. This is why it's illegal. I do a shadow sneak because I was afraid he was going to be faster. Uh, it does good amount of damage and he does a cycle cut. That's fine. He's got about two more turns. No, he's got one more turn because he's life orb. So I'm gonna go into my Braviary uh, and just U turn. Just, I mean, uh, not taking any chance of something stupid happening by me trying to. Uh, I guess I could have just went to Reuniclus like I did now and that would have been fine, but. Uh, I was hoping Reuniclus could take one crunch. This is a offensive. Wow, this is my third life orber. I had too many life orbs. I don't know which one this is actually. I had changed his moves around so much that um, I pretty much went our offensive one life orb because you know how magic guard and people expect it to be defensive. Kind of throws him off guard when I hit him with a life orb psychic. But yeah, in this instance, it did nothing. So I go back into Dragonite just to get the earthquake off on Polito. Um, since it's raining, I'm not taking extra damage uh, due to weather effects. So I'm just going to extreme speed. He's going to go into Ranatar. I should have extreme speed just to get some damage on it. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because the thing is Scarf. He's going to lock himself into Stone Edge. And my last two Pokemons are weak against it. This is actually his last poke. But my Braviary is also Scarf, but he is still outspeeds me. I think this is Adamant Scarf. I run Jolly Scarf now, so that stuff won't happen. But good game, Shapito File. Crazy team as always. 
And I hope you all enjoy. See you next episode. Peace.